Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, short game review. CJ returns to his old hood, finally, and he when you know to return for his mother's funeral. The other guys don't really believe that he's back to stay, so he has to prove himself in addition to help rebuild his old neighborhood, the old gang, getting the gang back together, and gradually find out who did kill their mother. This has him clashing with corrupt cops, various gangs of different ethnicities, and, you know, getting on the wrong side of the law more than once. There are twists and double crosses in the plot, as usual, and this is a more personal story than the previous Grand Theft Auto games. It very much has a, an identity as this, yeah, ghetto, gangster rap kind of thing with the, the slang, the music, everything specifically as that, and not everyone will like that, and I applaud Rockstar for making that choice, for saying if you're not into, you know, if you can't imagine playing a game that's set there, that has you doing things that take place there, then this is not the game for you. Things get even more open with new ways to traverse. You can now vault over fences and the like. You can swim, although this does also mean that water cannot kill you. Drowning in a car is, you know, easy to avoid. The main storyline is quite vast and literally took me 33 and a half hours to complete, culminating in an epic climax. The characters are a lot of fun, there's some great types, there's an African American who really badly wants to be a gangster rapper, and he can't rap or rhyme, and he's not a gangster. There's a complete nerd played by David Cross, Peter Fonda enjoys himself as portraying a hippie, you've got James Woods, James Woodsing, and it's it's fantastic. Samuel Jackson portrays a crooked cop and is spot on as it. Young Melee debuts in this as CJ, the protagonist, and he does fantastic. There are a number of new additions here, although most of them are fairly simple, but the customization is tremendously... It, yeah, it's vast, and while a lot of it is largely visual, there it will also affect basically how other characters react, and the game certainly feels more, even more like a simulation of real life than the earlier one. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.